Hello everyone and welcome to our third episode of AUC Observer. I'm your host, Mirna Abul Saud. In today's episode, there will be profiles about AUC professors and different PSAs. Not just that, today our guest is Mira Megid, one of the winners of Broadcast Education Association's Festival of Media Arts 2022 for her short film, Dronka Gardens. Stay tuned. The Egyptian Diplomatic School provides more to our country within decades of diplomacy work. Know more about the famous ambassador and AUC professor Ali Arfan with Mustafa Shahata's profile. professional and sure it is dangerous to ask anyone about the medical advice. Mustafa Shahata warns us by the upcoming PSA. Jean Baboukiz is a professor of music who teaches courses in music theory, musicianship and music literature and directs the AUC Chamber Singers. Know more about him with the reporter Houdan Nahlawi.
AUC succeeded in reducing the amount of energy used in two years instead of three, which saved the university an estimated of $2 million annually. How can AUC community take action to save energy on campus? No more with our reporter, Hoda Nahlawi. More than 40 articles and three books in the fields of literature, criticism and modern philosophy have been published by Professor William Melanie. Our next reporter, Ayal Kumi, will tell us more about him. means being truthful in all your work and any violation of these policies will result in disciplinary actions ranging from notes in your academic record to a failing grade in a course or even dismissal from the university. Find out in the following PSA by Ayal Kumi. لا أنا أقول لك على حاجة أحسن من كده بكتير. حساب اللي بتاعه شوف اللي أنت عايزاه وإيه في أسئلة. أنا ورايا ورايا كلاب شكرا. Dr. Naila Hamdi has an exceptional experience in the fields of journalism and mass communication. Know more about her with our reporter, Fatma Abu Omar.
no excuse for all the littering. Fatma Bouamar will show you what happens on campus when some irresponsible people behave. Professor Hisham Salem is one of the most recognized vertebrate paleontology experts in Egypt. AUCNs are lucky to have him as their professor at the School of Sciences and Engineering. Get to know him better in the following profile by Megid Munir. Once it starts, it never stops until it's too late. Internet addiction is a subtle addiction you need to be aware of. Megid Munir sheds the light on its effects in this PSA. أنا خلصته إيه ده؟ أنت نمت ولا إيه؟ Professor Khaled Azal Arab is a well-known professor at AUC. His experience in journalism goes back to over a decade. Let's find out his key accomplishments through the years with Munira Samra. Eating healthy is important, but how important? Let's find out with the PSA with Munira Samra. Salty, savory, sweet. 
quick hit of sugar or caffeine. It all can be deadlier than it seems. Bernard Okan is a professor of Islamic art and architecture who authored several books and gave more than 90 lectures worldwide about Islamic architecture. Know more about him with our reporter, Mirna Boulsoud. Mental health is not different in its importance than physical health. They both need a serious intervention when it's needed. Yet, many people are still afraid to open up about this issue. Find out in the following PSA by Mirna Boulsoud. This is not so. Why, this is not why are they looking at me? What's all? Why are they? They, they look at me. Hey, this is not true. Attention! It's all in your head. Why are they Attention! Why did I do that? Attention! They look at Attention. This is not true. Why are they looking at me? It's all in your head. Why are they looking at me? Why did I do that? Fix it. Why did I do that? Why are they looking at me? It's not. There's something wrong with you! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second part of AUC Observer. In this week's interview, we have one of Kamel Adham's graduate students who won an award of excellence in the BEA's Art Festival 2022 in the category of short film documentary for her film, Dronka Gardens, Mira Megid. Hello, Mira, and welcome to our show, and congratulations for your film. Hi, Mirna. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me today. Thank you. So before we start, we're going to watch the promo of your documentary, and then we're going to talk about the challenges you faced in your documentary. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> المكان ده خطير معرض للصوص معرض للسيول كنت هايبة الموقف جدا جدا لا 
الداخل الدير ده او اللي هيدخل في طريق التكريس عموما ده حد كانه بيموت دي عايزه قلب جامد بدون مبالغه كان بالنسبه لها موت حرفي مهما طال الوقت هنا صغير خالص انا طموحي طبعا ان انا اوصل السما First of all, can you tell us more about your film and why did you choose this story specifically? The movie mainly revolves around the um, monastery that is located in Upper Egypt. The monastery is located also in the heart of a mountain that is called uh, Jonka, um, located also in a, a very small village near a suit called Jonka village. Um, there are around 120 devotees um, are living in this, uh, only female devotees are living in this monastery. They are doing their very best to balance between their work life and their spiritual life. They are trying to prove something which is um, uh, pray and um, living or serving God is not all about praying but also is um, serving the whole community to uh, tell something special. Okay, so we know that you traveled while, while your knee was injured. How did you manage traveling and shooting while you were in pain? Let me tell you something, it's all about the passion. Working with the women and um, trying to unleash untold stories, especially stories about women, are my, are my main drive or my main motive. So um, my excitement was much more uh, was much more um, str yani, was much stronger than my pain. This is what encouraged me actually. Okay, so obviously everyone will say his point of view and his opinion after watching this documentary. But what was your your first impression, your first opinion when you watched the documentary by yourself? Uh, that women uh, are always, um, wherever they are, they are always capable of uh, proving that they can simply be equal to, uh, to men. Uh, as, you, as we can see in the documentary, we got to watch that um, we can see boss ladies in the very heart of the Upper Egypt, which is something a little bit unusual, but we did manage to see uh, boss ladies uh, doing uh, very uh, profes uh, uh, professions that are unlikely to be seen done by females in the upper Egypt, but the, they were bossing men and uh, they did it, successfully did it. Okay, so um, what are the facilities that the Kamal Adham Center provided you while shooting in, a sh in such like short period of time? Actually, I owe this place a lot. Uh, they helped me um, manage to come up with the entire product on my very own in terms of uh, learning uh, many skills, especially shooting on my very own, editing the whole, pro uh, the whole product uh, on my very own, um, um, managing to, to come up with the, very, uh, with the idea from the very scratch until managing to write, uh, to write the, an entire script on my very own as well. Um, but the, but most importantly and above all is how to manage to see um, something special in a place while the the store yani the the protagonists themselves can see it. They, they didn't see it, or they have a very something special or, but I did manage to see it. Last question, you obviously won a very prestigious award. So what's your advice for the master's students who want to uh, produce movies that will compete worldwide in the universities? Actually, to be driven by the story and not the visuals. I don't know um, uh, any film, any independent filmmaker or any filmmaker in general want to, uh, to screen the best visuals on earth for, uh, during their documentaries, but to be driven by the story and to believe that these persons have something very special will make the best visuals ever. So try to be driven by the story, not uh, the visuals. Thank you, Mira, so much for joining us today and thank you for your time and congratulations again for your film. And thank you, our audience. I'm your host, Mirna Abul Saud. See you next week.